Isn't that crazy? We live in a world where if you have a blue check mark, I trust your opinion. Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I am your host, Adam Peddle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playalog. And today, guys, we're going to be looking at Kevin Gosman potentially being signed by the Blue Jays. There have been rumors. We want to break that down, give our two cents on that whole situation. Before we do, though, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, the whole shebang. I also want to know right now in the comments, Robbie Ray or Kevin Gosman, mm -hmm. who would you choose? Comment it. All right, buddy, let's break this down right now. Before I even ask you something, I do want to read off this tweet just so like, we're all on the same page as to what we are speculating on right now. John Morrissey, he's got the big blue check mark on Twitter so we can trust him. Isn't that crazy? We live in a world where if you have a blue check mark, I trust your opinion. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of things messed up in this world, guys. Yeah, a lot that's, of things. Uh, that's definitely one of them. But he <laughs> tweets out, even after the Jose Barrios extension, the hashtag Toronto Blue Jays are working diligently to upgrade their rotation. They continue to talk with their own free agents, Ray and Matts, mm -hmm. as well as Kevin Gosman, among others. They've also spoken with the hashtag Marlins on their starters at mm -hmm, MLB Network. Mm -hmm. So we'll definitely be breaking down Ray and Matt's and those Marlins starters going on later. But Kevin Gosman, this one is interesting to me. This mm -hmm. one sticks out. Tell the people what he was like last year. Well, this, this is the reason why he sticks out, ladies and gentlemen, is Kevin Gosman reminds me a lot of Robbie Ray. Mm. This guy is going to be entering his age 31 season, and Ray is entering his age 30 season. Mm -hmm. The last season, he was amazing. 2021, yeah. 2.81 ERA. And this number I really love, a FIP of three. When the FIPs are good, I really start to notice. Yes. FIP was really good. Yes. And he had a strikeout per nine of 10.6. In the last three seasons, he's been also pretty good. And I'll just say his ERA mm -hmm. here of 379. And he was obviously a key factor in that San Francisco Giants rotation. Totally. He's a free agent. He's hitting the market. And unsurprisingly, he's commanding similar numbers to Robbie Ray in terms of dollars and years, right? Mm, He's probably mm. going to get something around the four to six year range yep. in the upwards of close to $100 million or over. Yep. So with that being said, why would we go after Kevin Gosman if we have someone like Robbie Ray? Well, you know uh, what I, mean? I, I do believe that um, it, like if you can get either one of Robbie Ray or Kevin Gosman, it, it, it will help your team. It will 1,000% help your rotation. It will bolster that up going into next year, probably the year after that, and maybe with the upside of the entire contract length. So with that being said, that is definitely why teams are in on him. Why it would happen over Robbie Ray, I do think that Kevin Gosman might be a slight discount mm -hmm. in the Robbie Ray terms. Now, it's not going to be a lot here, folks. The only reason I'm speculating upon that is because Robbie Ray is most likely going to win a Cy Young this year. And just having that next to your name, that is going to help. Granted, Kevin Gosman, he was in those Cy Young races in that contention the entire year, right up until Max Scherzer and Corbin Burns decided that they were going to go be crazy people and, you know, potentially steal the race away. Also, Zach Wheeler. So mm -hmm. he's not going to be cheap by any means, but it could be a slight discount. As far as your concerns, we just went out, we just got Jose Barrios. Woo! Woo! to a major seven-year, $131 mm -hmm. million dollar extension. Incredible. Incredible. Is it the right play right now for the Toronto Blue Jays to go out and potentially sign Gosman to a similar sort of money for five years or see, six? See, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, well, uh, if it's cheap enough, mm. not so bad. I mean, we saw what we could do with Jose Barrios. Granted, we did get to hang out with him for half a year, and we yeah. didn't so much with Kevin Gosman. Well, we're going to have to flash some money, but not so much when you look at where our contracts are heading, right? We probably have space to grab one more starter, right? We have the next two years. We have still have Rio, we have Grichik, and we still have uh, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., but after that, we don't know. Mm. So there is going to be money 
for the future. So if you are able to get Gosman cheaper than Robbie Ray, because we were speculating Robbie Ray was going to command something close to 25 average annual value, Could which based be. on the market right now, it looks like he might. So I guess if you're going to give it a shot, if you feel really confident, like I wouldn't be like, no, that's the wrong move to do. Right. But then again, you do cap yourself just a bit later down the line when it comes to contracts, because you are going to have to sign this guy for four to five years. Mm -hmm. That is the one little concern in my mind. But either way, I mean, would you mind having Kevin Gosman would, in the rotation? Here's the thing. Here's would the thing, man. You, you go out, you do it. The headline happens. I'm going to be overjoyed. I'm going to be happy about it. I do think long term, if we are if we are really playing our MLB The Show franchise mode, as we seem to do with this team quite yes, often. all the time. Um, I don't think I would do that because it does scare me a little bit to get a guy age 31 on like a five or six year deal. He has had a rockier career. It hasn't been smooth sailing the whole way. The last three years have been pretty good. But I have similar concerns with Robbie Ray as I do with him. He's basically a two-pitch pitcher. It's the fastball. It's the splitter. Those get thrown 88% of the time. I am by no means like discounting what this guy is capable of doing. And I would very happily eat my words if we sign him and he's good for four or five years. I would be over the moon. Yeah. But I am also concerned that something like that could get figured out by the league. And you go, you sign the bag, you're 33 years old. Maybe you're not doing so hot. Maybe the injuries start adding up. I'm not sure. I think we can take that money, spend it in other smarter ways on maybe some shorter term deals, just so we make sure like we have the flexibility to get Bo, to get Vlad, to get mm -hmm. all of our young juicy dudes locked down, and then some other free agents in two, three, or four years. Yeah, you know what? I'll play some little bit of devil's advocate too. Like, I mean, I guess if you want to sign this guy, front load it. I've been saying that recently. Yeah, you front load this guy, you give him like 30, 25 now when we like have that short two win window, and then when 24, when Bo and Vlad start coming up, then it's like, okay, 15, you start dropping it a bit. That so would maybe, be the way. So maybe that would be the way, and you know what? And then also the fact, this is something I'd even consider to literally, you were saying, because like mm -hmm. you said, like the league starts figuring him out. Well, he'd come into an entirely new league this year. You that know what I mean? also true. So that's that also true. true. So you know what? Like maybe he gets on like another level of Pete Walker and figures it out, but I don't know. We're all speculating here. Here, yes, right yes the rumors out there we're looking at him so at the end of the day wouldn't be butt hurt but no. like there's probably better guys that you can go after and i believe we have a podcast coming about this soon about what starting pitchers the toronto blue jays should be looking for yes this off season. yes i agree certainly wouldn't be upset about it. it would help the team a bunch but yeah maybe we can spend that money elsewhere mm -hmm. folks let us know in the comments down below what you think about this would you be over the moon about the kevin gosman signing or are there other guys that you want to prioritize and maybe save that 120 130 million dollars for some of those other dudes comment your thoughts down below i can't wait to hear more about <laughs> this because the rumors are there so there should be a back and forth going on for quite some time this could not be the last time that we're talking about kevin gosman going to the blue jays absolutely not guys and if you don't want to watch us you can listen to us on spotify google podcast anchor radio public and breaker also please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below like nick's saying hit that post notification, post notification bell button also it is monkey knife fight and our code is today jays use that code to get a hundred percent of your deposit back up to $50. It helps support the channel. If you also want to support the channel, become a Patreon. It's $3 a month. And you can come on to our wine on wine and talk to us just like all of these guys up here. Shout out and thank you to everybody who is a Patreon. We truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> hey, go, go Jays, go! go!